The title of today's Brandon's blog is Bill C-228, Will Huge Pension Priority in Canadian Insolvency Be Real Finally? There could very well be major changes coming to Canadian insolvency legislation. My name is Ira Smith, president of Ira Smith Trustee and Receiver Inc. Both Brandon Smith and myself are available to answer any questions you may have, either about this Brandon's blog or anything else at all. So shoot us a message, give us a phone call. We would love to speak with you. I hope you can watch until the end of this video because I know you will find it informative. There have been many attempts over the years to change Canadian insolvency legislation to give better protection to employees, pensioners, retirees who are members of a pension plan, especially a defined benefit pension plan and group insurance programs. Brandon first goes through a bit of the history of how pensions are not protected in Canadian insolvency proceedings. As I mentioned, there have been many private member bills underfunding a defined benefit pension plan is a major concern, especially in Canadian insolvencies. The Sears Canada court supervised liquidation forced us again to focus on the treatment of pensioners in corporate bankruptcy protection filings or corporate bankruptcies. Brandon goes through the various attempts to try to get a private member's bill through the House of Commons and all have failed until now. This past spring, Conservative MP Marilyn Gladu put forward her pension reform private member bill C-228, an act to amend the BIA, the CCAA, and the Pension Benefit Standards Act. It passed second and third reading in the House of Commons and it has not and it has now gone on to the Senate where it has passed first reading there just a week or two ago. If it gets through the Senate as currently drafted or with some changes, it will then go back to the House of Commons for royal assent and will become Canadian law. So what does Bill C-228 try to do? What it says is that a court cannot approve any restructuring plan until all special payments as determined by the pension benefit standards regulations have been paid to correct any unfunded liability or solvency deficiency and it has to be funded by the employer trying to restructure before the court can approve the restructuring plan and that change will go into the bankruptcy and insolvency act and the company's creditors arrangement act it also goes on to say that in the event of bankruptcy or receivership that liability, the unfunded liability, the solvency deficiency, that amount has to be paid after trust claims and a supplier's right to revindication. So before secured creditors or unsecured creditors can see any money, those liabilities 
have to be funded. And this is going to be a major, major change to Canadian insolvency legislation. As it goes through the Senate, if there are any changes or when it gets to the House of Commons and is put into Canadian law, Brandon will write updated blogs on the Pension Reform Act. So I hope you can read the entire Brandon's blog below because I know you will get value from it. Again, both Brandon Smith and myself are available to answer any questions you may have, either about this Brandon's blog or anything else at all. So shoot us a message, give us a phone call. We would like to speak with you.